This is Yusuf. He is 10 years old. He is an autistic child. With this disorder, Yusuf's intellectual capabilities and behavior are affected. Yusuf's development after birth was normal until he was about one and a half years old. What Yusuf or any other child like him needs is one-on-one -on -one care around the clock. He needs help with dressing up, feeding and toilet. You may also have to keep an eye on him 24-7 just in case he takes off or turns violent. Living with him needs a lot of patience, really. Because if you're not used of him, it gets annoying for some people to be with him because he does really annoying things. Yusuf's parents are not alone. There are quite a number of many others who are going through the same experience. My biological children, they have cerebral palsy. That's why they are failing to speak properly. Their reasoning capacity is a bit low and they cannot walk even. Raising a child with special needs comes with a lot of emotional experience. In Uganda here, like in many African countries, such children are attached to witchcraft or even being cursed. Naturally, as a mother, you feel heartbroken upon the news, as I told you. Having a disabled child is not an easy thing. This is both attributed to the traditional belief that a child with disability is unable to handle any single task or the lack of financial means to cater for their special needs. Is that they are very expensive. Maintaining them consumes a lot of resources. And in terms of time, money, power, feeding. What hurts me the most is that it, it will always be there. It will be a part of his life forever. It can improve, but it can never go away. Yusuf is autistic, yes. But thanks to organizations like this one, the Tunaweza Children's Center in Intenda. Through regular physiotherapy, this boy and his relatives smile tell it all. Kati asobolo kuogera bulungi, asobolo cooperating, kugamba. Kati amani nti ya echintu ba chiaringa. Yai tamani na kusaba nti njia agenda kufuka, evio kala vigi dewa nuliona, ba mu igiriza. These are normal children, but they just have some special need, and then they should also give them priority like they give to the normal children, because they can do something for themselves. This child can be somebody, and that girl is here. She's the one who did this, by the way. We've come to discover from here at the center that she's actually very crafty with her hands. She has done some jewelry, earrings, necklaces, things that you find hanging in craft shops in town. There are quite a number of organizations working on disability issues here in Uganda. Some restrict their activities to a single disability, while others look at a range of them without specializing. However, a concerted effort to improve the lives of young people with disability in Uganda is lacking. Hatmana Lugwasekaya, NTV.